So what happens if you don't keep the blade parallel to the vise or keep an eye on both sides? When you remove your piece, after not doing these two key principles, you can see the different marking on your line. When we look closer at our processing, you can see that one line is accurate because we paid attention to one line, but the other side has gone off the marking. This is due to not keeping an eye on both sides of the material or not keeping the blade parallel to the vise to ensure that you're making a good, accurate, square cut in the piece. As the pins on the coping saw are adjustable, this means you can change the direction of the blade when necessary if you are dealing with a piece as shown in the diagram. Here I'm going to go through the same principles that apply for when you turn the blade in a different direction when necessary. You can change the direction of the pins if you find it more comfortable to do so than having the pins in the upright position. But you have to ensure that the two pins are perfectly in line with each other ensuring that the blade is nice and straight as previously talked about in the previous video. Ensure that you're using your two hands on the handle and also ensure that you're using the boxing stance. It's very important to keep an eye on both sides of your markings to ensure that your saw is perfectly square and parallel to the bench in which you're cutting on. This provides a good, accurate, precise cut ensuring that your curve is perfect to the way you want it to. This depends on the way that you use the tool ensuring that you use all key principles in which are previously discussed. Ensure that you're using the full length of the saw, keeping it parallel to the vise and also ensuring that you're using two hands and the boxing stance when using it. Once completed, we can see our perfectly rounded edge which is one mil away from our marking line. This is to allow for smoothing out to ensure that our curve is perfectly circular or the shape in which we intended.